Once you were old enough, what were the dark family secrets you were finally let in on? My father got my mother pregnant when he was her teacher in high school. He was 30 and married. She was 15 and his student. They ran off together, he got a divorce, and they got married in a state that allowed marriage at 16, two months before my older brother was born. Grandma didn't decide to move in with us because she loved us so much and wanted to spend more time with us. Grandma moved in because her son was a meth addict and convinced her to put his name on the house, take all the money out of it for renovations, and leave her homeless. She had a heart attack the night she found out and now has to live with a pacemaker. Fuck you Uncle Roy. My cousins lived with us for a while and we thought that was fun because it's like a sleepover every day. One time our mom even took us out of school to pick them up. I learned later that it was because Child Protective Services took my cousins away from their mom because of mental health issues. My mom offered to take her sister's kids until she got her mental health back in order. My cousins live with their mom now and their mom is in a much better condition mentally. My dad's uncle died in a boating accident with his cousins. My family let me know he was possibly drowned in the middle of the lake by his cousins because of some money issues. No one was ever prosecuted though and the family is still very close. Weird. My grandma actually legally disowned my mother for marrying my dad. The family house was supposed to go to my mom, but after the disowning, grandma didn't say who she wanted house to go to, resulting in a decades-long family feud that has split the family even to this day. Sad thing is, my parents actually ended up divorced after 20 years of marriage. Mom took care of my grandma till the end and was the one who handled the funeral arrangements when my grandma passed two years ago. She never asked for the house back. It's worth millions. Nobody told me any of this until I was 30. My dad used to send me birthday cards every year when I was a young girl. My mother left my dad while pregnant with me for good reason, even through I never got to meet him when I was young I was glad to still receive a card from him with a few bucks acknowledging I was alive and that he did one day want to see me. Around 1415 I learned that my mother had written every single one of those letters and my grandfather would mail it to ourselves to make it seem legit. I never ever actually received any letter from him. Great Grandpa was a soldier opposing the Axis powers. Him and his squad were caught by Italian troops and given the death penalty along with his friends. They would be executed together. At the time of the execution all of his mates died in front of his eyes but he survived because the soldier missed. Without skipping a beat he faked his death by, well lying on top of his deceased friend's bodies. Surprisingly it worked and he got to escape. My parents led me to believe that my grandfather, on my mother's side, had died due to a heart attack. A year later they revealed he actually shot himself in the head. My dad is in a cult. Wasn't much of a secret, but as a kid you just kinda assume everything your parents do is the norm. My grandparents spent some time in lockup after my grandpa killed their newborn in a shell shock induced frenzy. They were jailed because they buried her body in a cave and tried to hide it. My mom and her siblings were all adopted out very young and went back to their parents around 11 years or so later. I knew that growing up, but didn't know why until I was older. My step-grandfather molested my three aunties, my eldest sister and possibly my other sister and cousin. Only found out when my nana was dying 11 years after he died. They are buried side by side and I cannot bring myself to go visit my nana because he is there also. I'm still at least one family's secret. I'm adopted and found my biological father. He begged me not to reach out to any of my half-siblings as it would ruin his life and standing in the community. The sad thing is I'm not even his first secret child. I have an older half-sister that he also begged not to reach out to family. So that's two kids he's had because he cheated on his wife. I can only imagine how often he cheats to have at least two women end up pregnant, my half-sister and I call 23 and me, how we met 23 and Mark, because who knows how many more kids he might have out there. Pretty sure he's been terrified since at home DNA kits became a thing. Edit, a word. My uncle wasn't missing a ton of birthday parties, family reunions, holiday dinners, etc. When I was a kid because of his really busy job, but because he became a heroin addict after his wife took off with their daughter, my cousin who I've still never met. Edit, oh yeah he also tried to stab my aunt, his sister, in a drug-fueled rage when she went off on him about being a bum and exploiting my grandparents' kindness. My grandpa stopped him but got beaten unconscious in the process.
My grandparents' neighbor heard the commotion and had to rush in and stop him at gunpoint. I legit thought he was just a normal, nice guy who I happened to rarely see before I learned all this shit in one night. My parents were going to abort me, but his friends stopped him. My dad named me after his friend. My dad and I have a great relationship now though lol. My grandmother ran off and had an affair, got pregnant, came back to my grandfather and they raised the baby girl together. My father and his siblings didn't find out until they were older. I'm not sure if my aunt knew the truth before she passed away. It's also rumored that there's another half-sibling somewhere out there so granddad seemed to be having an affair as well. Just affairs all round back in the day. When my grandfather died, he wrote his will on his deathbed. He left his entire estate to my family, which was enormous. His wife however, who despised us, in the biggest fuck you move I've ever seen, wrote a directly conflicting will, leaving the estate to her family, none of whom I've ever met, and then killed herself. It took around five years in legal hell to sort that out. We ended up winning the case in the end, but it cost so much that we couldn't afford to keep his $3 million house anymore. Quite literally a dark family secret. Being a white-ass blonde-haired blue-eyed little rat bastard at six and finding out my bio dad is black. Funny enough my best friend at the time was whiter than me with blonde hair blue eyes also had a black bio dad. I guess our mums were just supper fucking white. My dad's sister had a secret daughter that would have been approximately his age. She was 16 years older than him, and the family didn't tell him until he was in college. In their small town, there is a not zero chance he could have, did date his niece. My aunt started the communist party in her country. It got quite large, her children fled the country, and I still don't know what happened to her. I'm starting to think my family is just boring. Kinda hard to compete with the fascist great-grandfather or the plethora of affairs. That my cousin was actually my half-brother. Mom got pregnant in college and my aunt and uncle adopted him. And, that my dad wasn't my biological father. Mom and dad got divorced, she got pregnant by another man, and my dad wasn't able to have kids of his own so they got remarried and he raised me as his own. I have two, the first one being that one of my uncles, who I had spoken to a lot when I was younger was arrested from having CP. His dad was in a similar spot and needless to say, after that I lost contact with that side of the family as they refused to tell law enforcement for far too long. The other family secret was my dad had been shot and killed in a different state only a little bit after my birth. Miraculously enough, I never noticed any absence of a father figure in my youth and I just learned about it out of the blue. Grandma's top secret pie crust was actually just Marie Callender's from the grocery store, set in a fancier dish. She messed with her daughters in law for years over it. My grandmother's sister, my great aunt, got pregnant of a wedlock in the 1950s. She was put up in a birthing home and the child was adopted out. She hid the whole thing from her while family minus my grandmother, the eldest of the family of eight and the one who helped hide her. After she had the baby she came back home after living with her sister for a while. No one knew till about 10 years ago. My mom for him, he is a nice man that had an average childhood with parents that loved him, fortunately. What's with the quotes? Anyway, turns out my father raped my sister, so there's that. Grand Uncle Harry has had nine wives, over 30 children, and over 100 girlfriends. He's currently 70 living in a campervan in California while e-dating his 21-year-old girlfriend from Florida. His children range from 15 to 40 years old. He also groped my mom at her 18th birthday after he disappeared for over a year without contact. This all stems from when my great-grandmother took him to a cult after discovering a gram of weed in his dresser. She didn't know it was a cult of course but still. Imagine Mormons mixed with Heaven's Gate. Crazy shit. He then started an air conditioning business and made millions but has since gone bankrupt and lost his two mansions after he didn't live in them for multiple years. My grandfather isn't my biological grandfather my grandma was raped in high school with her not knowing who the original father was so the man who would be my grandfather took it upon himself to raise a child you do not belong to him. My grandma retired and she still decided to work for her brother in his restaurant to save up money for when she dies. Funerals are, obviously, expensive. She insisted he would hold on to her paychecks and pay for her funeral when she dies. He never did. I always thought my uncle Dan died in a car accident. Turned out he owed a lot of money to a loan shark. 
He and his partner were asked to play Russian roulette and one survives can walk away and get an extension for payment. Uncle wasn't lucky. I hated the ages where I started to learn this stuff. I found out that my dad was very abusive to my mum before they got divorced, recently found out he may have hit me on one occasion too. Afterwards we lived in a hostel but a better than average hostel? My dad was in the army I don't quite understand it but meh, but it was like a caravan park. I asked my mum not too long ago why we were in the caravan park so long. She then told me we had pretty much nothing and lived in a hostel. I found out my great granddad was a pedophile who abused my mum, when she told her mum, my nan, she didn't believe her. Kinda think my mum just ain't had a good run. Just discovered recently my grandma had a fifth child. Put him up for adoption. IDK the whole story as my grandma has passed on. My grandfather wasn't actually dead when he was cremated. He was alive, and supposedly felt it. How? I don't know, my mom wasn't able to finish the rest of the story and I'd rather not push her to tell me and honestly I don't really want to know either. Not mine but a friend of me told me, I took permission, his father was gonna abort his little brother and when his mom interfered he threatened her with sterilization or worse, murder, she ran off to her father had a divorce and then one day the dad came up and almost choked her to death but father has a gun and threatened to kill him right then and there. Edit, I feel like people are left with some gaps I can fill, he is next to me rn sue. Haha, <laughs> just came from the dark country facts thread and saw the earlier comment. Great aunt accidentally poisoned her husband to death, aunt accidentally put her cat through a dryer, a ton of the fam is more racist than is comfortable and that stems from the cherry on top that Jefferson Davis was a little closer to the lineage than I'd like. Oh and everyone has a really weird, nervous reaction when I ask where my name comes from but no one's story matches anyone else's and there's a dead relative with my name and I'm pretty sure I'll never get to the bottom of that before everyone who knows is dead. I'm just gonna go live in a cabin somewhere. That I was not flown into the house by a stork. My aunt and mother both had abortions and were sexually abused my sister mother different than mine held a gun to my dad's head when I was a baby my biological grandfather killed himself it's a debate on if it was accidental by shooting himself in the stomach. This was apparently a plea to get my grandmother back after cheating on her. My father cheated on his first wife my step-grandfather like a real grandfather to me tried to hit on my mother. My grandma never knew. There's more but those are the big ones. My uncle is believed to have murdered two Australian police officers in the late 80s. My grandmother tried to murder my grandfather when she got sick of him beating the shit out of her every day. She swung an axe at him and he blocked it with his hand and lost his thumb. She left him before I was born. No a dark family secret, but I was told this only recently, my grandfather was imprisoned by the communist regime for lending a typewriter to someone, probably someone opposing the regime. My grandfather's brother suffered from depression. Yeah, back in the day, that was a pretty big black mark. Psychiatry wasn't what is today, and no medications were available. He was once hospitalized, so that required cover stories. Sorry, I don't know more details he died before I was born, so these events happened quite a while ago. That my father and mother were both fugitives. My mother died after a few months of giving birth to me. Whenever I asked how she died the answer was that she passed away in her sleep and no one knew why. I just learned a few years ago that she had cancer and was pregnant with me. Giving birth to me severally weakened her and eventually led to her death. I don't think I'll be able to ever forgive myself because from what I've heard from everyone, she was a damn good woman. My father cheated on my mum with my sister and I's horse riding instructor. We'd always thought it ended amicably. We only found this out while mum was admitting to having contemplated driving off the road with us in the car as kids, as opposed to raising us as a single mum with no career or stable job. We are a pretty vanilla family, the biggest dark secret we have is my grandma was pregnant before she was married. To put it shortly my family tree, is more like a very long branch. Yes we have the genetic defects to prove it. Two come to mind. One. My uncle sexually molested my youngest aunt throughout most of her life. He later went on to marry and have four daughters. You can guess what happened to his daughters. He's still welcomed to what's left of the family collective. Obviously the four daughters have separated themselves from the rest of the family and I can't blame them. I didn't welcome him back but I haven't had contact with my cousins since I was in high school. 2. 
My youngest aunt developed a drinking problem to cope with what happened to her. She had a lot of miscarriages after their firstborn. Miraculously they had another kid. Unbeknownst to all but my mother she was also having an affair at the time. Still don't know if the uncle is the biological father. Doubt we will ever know for sure. All my siblings including me, aside from the oldest, were all accidents. My sister opened up regarding sexual abuse she suffered when she was a child. Only our mum and I know. It was a cousin that did it. My mum told us her sister was abused by one of the uncles in the 70s. He ejaculated on my aunt's face. He is dead now. We never really got along, didn't see him often. He looked like a fucking creep, even before knowing this shit. My cousin is my half-brother, no inbreeding. You work it out. 